Alley Cats! Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Alley Cat Beauty. My name is Ali, and I'm here just trying to figure out this whole beauty game with all of you. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing my first impressions on my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of September. If you haven't seen my reveal video, I will link it up here and down in the description box below. I go into more detail about all the products in this bag, which I used to create this look. So, without further ado, let's get started, Alley Cats! Alrighty, Alley Cats, so we are going to get started with the bag. Um, so just a reminder, it came with the Pacifica um, Bronzer and Blush Duo, the Real Her Confidence in My Glow Highlighter, the um, Boga She Illuminator Brush, the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in Bronze Beam, and of course the Benefit Cosmetics, the Porefessional Hydrate Primer. So obviously we're going to start out with the primer. Um, today is going to be a full face of makeup and I do have a little bit of a different setup today. I've put all my makeup away so that when I'm not filming um, it's you know more organized and set aside, um, but I do have like a bag with everyday makeup and stuff that I would use more often so I've got that with me but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the primer so this says to use apply to face and blend with fingertips wear alone or under makeup as a primer so let's just jump right in so it is a bit thicker than I'm used to which is fine it glides on really smoothly it does feel hydrating as well which is good. It feels really nice, so my skin is definitely feeling soft right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and my concealer, and then we'll pop back in for the blush, bronzer, and highlight. So I went ahead and did my eyeshadow and my brows as well so that we can get through the rest of the products, which is the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, and the eyeliner, along with the course the illuminating brush also everything that I used will be in the description below as well so let's get started with the bronzer another thing that I didn't mention in my reveal video is that there is a huge mirror on the back of this so again really great for travel so I'm just gonna go straight in tap off the excess so it actually applies really nicely and it's pretty pigmented so I'm glad that I like tapped off the brush um, because I don't want to look too, too bronze. And it's a really nice shade for my skin tone as well. I'm light medium, um, so if anyone else is that skin tone, then you know. But I really like it, and it's matte too, so it doesn't give me any extra shine, which is good. As you can probably tell by my eyes too, I'm doing a pretty natural look today. I'm not trying to go too heavy on the makeup. I do have school later, so I'm not trying to go crazy. So now I'm gonna go in with the blush. The other reason I did a neutral shadow look is because I want to test out this blush and see what color it comes out on my skin tone just because I haven't used a blush like this before, so. Yeah, ooh, that's definitely really pigmented. Um, yeah, it's like very bright on my skin already. Um, so I'm trying to buff it out a little more. I might have to go over it with my sponge. Okay, so I did go a little lighter on this cheek, but it's a nice color. Definitely gonna have to go over that with my sponge on the right side because that's really way too, way too pigmented. I look like I just got sunburned, so that's fun. So definitely with the blush, if you're of my skin tone, go in with a very light hand. And I would even say bring it like further up your cheek um, rather than right on your cheekbone just because it is kind of like, it's not a harsher color, but it's since it is more pigmented, 
um, you don't want it all right on the apples of your cheeks. I'm gonna still blend it out with the sponge a little, just because for my liking it's a little too bold. But that is the blush and the bronzer. So far I really like it. There is a little bit of kickback in the pan, but that's not a big deal. You get so much product anyway, so it's not like you're losing that much. But yeah, so now let's move on to the highlighter. So, oh, this is the Pacifica Beauty Blush and Bronzer in Desert Sand. But now we're gonna move on to the Real Her Confidence in My Glow highlighter, and we're gonna take that Bogashi Illuminator brush. This is rolling everywhere. Okay, we're gonna take, well, it's just going to stay there because, yeah. I'm going to take the illuminator brush and just lightly go in to this highlighter. I'm going to tap it off just so that I don't get too blinding of a highlight. Oh, and that's a really nice, it's a nice natural highlight. So if you do tap it off, you can build it up a lot better rather than going in without tapping off the excess product. But it's nice and natural. It is a rose gold, I believe, is what it said online. And it's definitely like, kind of like a glow from within almost, I feel like. It's not too harsh of a highlight either. I'm not entirely sure if you can see it on camera. But I really like it for those days where I'm not trying to go all out. And I just want... Oh, I didn't put blush on my nose. Well... Let me just, I always put a little bit of blush on my nose to give it some color and then when the highlight goes over it, it just looks nicer. I don't know. I think that's all I'm going to put on. It's very light so I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, um, but it's nice. I like it. And this highlighter brush, it's a little small for my liking, but it does allow you to be more targeted with your application. So actually, I'm also going to go under my brow bone with it. It actually works nicely for under your brow bone because it is small. It's not so small that you can be super precise under your brow bone, but it's still nice. And I'm going to go a little bit in the inner corner as well. Awesome! So that's that. The eyeshadow is a little wonky, but what are you going to do about it? Now we are going to go in with the Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie by Petra. And this is in the shade Bronze Beam. So I tried out their Matte Mulberry one last glam bag. I really loved the formula. So I'm assuming it's the exact same thing, just a different shade. And I'm just going to take this on my eyelid, like you would any other eyeliner. So I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Awesome. So I'm not going to take this on the lower lash line, but this took me definitely less than a minute to put on. It went on so smooth. I love it so much. The only issue with it is that the formula is so smooth and soft that you have to be very light handed with it. Otherwise the tip will break off. I found that out the hard way last time. But I was even able to give myself like a little bit of a wing with this as well. It's a beautiful color. Um, definitely for those days where you want a neutral look and you want to put eyeliner but you don't want to have a super black uh, bold liner look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara, my lips, and some setting spray and then I will be back to give you my first impressions. Okay so this is the final look. I know it's very basic, very natural, but it works for what I'm doing today. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a wear test just because I have a lot of homework to do and I have class later, so it's just not really gonna work out um, in terms of filming. But let's go ahead and do my first impressions. 
So the um, Pore Professional Hydrate Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. This, like I said in my reveal video, is not exactly a first impression because I did have a sample of this that I tried out before. Um, but I liked it then, I like it now. It's something that I'm gonna have to keep trying out. But it feels really smooth on my skin. It's not like a really oily primer that leaves that like oily residue on your hands after you put it on. Um, it definitely made my skin feel hydrated and smooth. Um, and so far I like it, but we'll keep trying it out. And then the Pacifica Desert Sand Blush and Bronzer. There was a little bit of kickback in the pan. The bronzer shade is pretty much perfect for my skin tone. The blush is a little bold for me, but it is a color that I don't have. And I like it. I just have to make sure to go in with a light hand. But overall, it's a good product. I like it so far. It feels, it doesn't feel dry when it goes on the skin either, so it blends out really nicely. Um, also, it is 100% vegan and cruelty free, which I love. The mirror on the back is great, and for travel, this will definitely be a go to. I know we're not traveling that much right now, but when it comes that time, this is definitely something that I will be grabbing for because it's easy, it's quick, and it has a mirror, so. Then we'll move on to the highlighter. So this Real Her Confidence in My Glow highlighter, absolutely love it. Um, if you can see in the camera, it's a nice glow. Um, it's definitely more of a glow from within if you go in light-handed. I'm sure if you wanted to build it up, you could. I even built it up a little, but I'm pretty sure you can definitely build it up even more. Um, it's beautiful. It's perfect for my skin tone, which is great. And it's something that I can see myself using almost every day. Um, and the packaging is just so cute. It's like marbled. So I definitely love this. It feels really buttery and smooth going on the skin. It doesn't feel dry or chunky with glitter at all. So looking forward to keep using this. And I'm really excited that I have it. Next, the Bogashi Illuminator Brush. So this is a lot smaller than my other Illuminator Brush. But I like it because it's a little more precise and you can really pinpoint where you want to place your highlight. It also works great under the brow bone and for the inner corner. I really like it. I have another one of Bogashi's brushes. I think it's a concealer brush. Yeah, um, it's a concealer brush that I have and I really love their brushes. They are super lightweight. They're very sleek with the black handle um, and I mean... I like it, there's not much to say about it. I'll definitely use it more, but I think I will gravitate towards my larger illuminator brush just because it covers more area. But whenever I wanna be precise, I will definitely be reaching for this. So I'm happy that I have that one now too. And then finally, the Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixie by Petra in Bronze Beam. I love this shade, like so much. I've been looking for a perfect creamy brown eyeliner and I haven't found it until this. Um, I really love this formula because it is so smooth. It glides on like a dream, like I don't even have to try. But I do have to be careful because if I want a really thin line, then I do have to go in very slowly, but if I'm just kind of throwing on some eyeliner, especially with this color, since it is brown, it's not as bold as a black, I don't have to worry about it being too, too thick, um, because with black, it'll just show up even more, but with brown, it kind of blends a bit more. I could even get a wing. My only concern and issue with this is that it's such a soft formula that you have to be very careful to not apply with too much pressure, otherwise the tip will break off. But Definitely glad that I have this uh, color as well, um, and I will definitely be using this in the future, especially on those days where I want a more natural look. So, overall, um, I'm gonna give this bag a pretty good review. I really like it. There were some um, issues just with the blush being too bold of a color for me, but that's more user error more so than like something wrong with the product so I'm really excited to have all these products to keep trying them out I will be doing a final impressions video on it in a few months once I get to test out these products a little more I do have a final impressions coming for my May glam bag which I had pre-recorded but it's going to be coming out a little later than I say in that video so stay tuned for that um, but I am trying to plan to do a final impressions of each of my glam bags three to four months after I get them maybe five months just so that I have enough time to test out all the products and really get to know 
the product and what I'm using and how it reacts with my skin and my face and everything. So yeah, that's it for my Ipsy Glam Bag review for September. I think it was a pretty good first impressions. So if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you have any suggestions for me or any videos you'd like to see in the future, go ahead and leave those in the comments below as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to get a notification every time I upload a new video, go ahead and ring that bell as well. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AllieCatBeauty. And remember, beauty radiates from within, so don't forget to be confident and be you. See you later, Alley Cats!